Hey everybody, how you doing? That was my dilemma. Uh, I just wanted to share a miracle today. It happened a little uh, while ago this morning. I was uh, training at the gym in San Francisco and I was uh, just about to leave. I got in my car and then uh, for some reason, you know, I never do this, but for some reason I wanted to, I turned my phone off. You know, I turned my phone off, so I, you know, I just, for no reason, I kept receiving phone calls, so I turned the phone off. Uh, so I left, and I was, I was about to, I, I drove like two blocks away. And then I stopped at the stoplight, and uh, I was the first one in line. So, being the first one in line, as soon as the light went green, I was in the middle lane, light went green, I started to go. And then uh, there was a truck next to me and then another car on my left. And uh, I started, well, as soon as I drove off, this one guy comes and uh, runs a red light. And then, uh, you know, I was pretty calm. I just, I pressed on the brake. My car kind of skidded. And then, uh, so he stopped right in front of me and I almost, I almost hit him. If I would have gone faster, because he passed me like this. So if I would have gone faster, he would have probably hit me or I would have hit him on the side. So that's just, uh, you know, uh, uh, it's, it's a miracle. You know, the Lord is always taking care of you. God's always uh, watching out for you. You know, a lot of times uh, we don't see it because he saves you from things that you can't see. You know, you can't see something that he saved you from. Or, or you know, he, you, can't, you can't see the miracle. He just uh, accidents. Uh, whatever it may be, you know, anything can happen, especially San Francisco, people getting shot all the time and, and people crazy in traffic. And it's just amazing that he showed me that, you know, sometimes like, sometimes you may ask yourself, you know, does the Lord take care of me? I've seen a lot of people, you know, non-believers, they complain and they say, where's God? And uh, where's God? Because this happened to me. I've got pulled over, my car's gotten told, and, and things like that happen, but you don't really have a life with God. How can you ask where's God, and how can you ask him just when the times that you need him? So when he needs you, what are you doing? How, how come you're not working for him? How come you're not working and, and, and preaching his word? How come you don't pray every day? You just pray when the cop is riding behind you. So I think it's amazing that the Lord said, you know, he was just, you know, just confirming and saying, you know, he, I'm here for you. I, I'm, you know, if faithful to me, I'm going to bless you. You're faithful to me, I'm going to take care of you in my hand, you know. And I've gotten in many accidents before, you know, when, when I wasn't with the Lord. And I know that, that the Lord is just tries every time that I'm out, uh, I go away from him. You know, a few years back, he tries to get me back. And it's always like that with accidents and things like that. So I can, you know, think about the devil is trying to kill you because you're preaching the word and you're spreading the gospel. The devil doesn't like that. So he's gonna come and try to take your life. He's gonna try and, 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 and not let God finish the work he started in you. But God is more powerful. God has a has a, started a work in you and me and he he's going to finish it. It's not done yet. And uh, it's still underway and it's still, you know, under work. So, you know, be faithful. Don't just talk to God when you expect help. He'll still help you, but don't just don't just look for him when you need him. Praise him in good times. Praise him in hard times. Uh, pray and, and always seek his presence. He's there. He's there. You just have to look for him. Don't doubt. If you have the faith, the, the size of a seed of mustard, you can move mountains. You'll be able to do things bigger than Jesus did. Imagine that. Jesus healed leprosy. Uh, leprosy back then was like AIDS, HIV. Imagine to do things bigger than Jesus did. We can do it because the Bible promised us. So don't be afraid. You got to be bold. Exercise your faith every day and don't stop believing. All right? Guys, God bless you.